I got a question for you. Do you like roller coaster rides? Because if you've been looking for a house this past year, you've been on one hell of a roller coaster ride with these mortgage rates. When they're expected to go up, they go down. When they zig, they zag. Now, again, when home prices started to grow due to our really, really, really low inventory matched with high demand and due to economic uncertainties and pandemic uncertainties, the interest rates have started to steadily rise. Now, experts and consumers all agree that the interest rates will continue to rise this year, but at a much slower pace. So what I want to do today is I'm going to show you how interest rates affect real estate prices and I'm going to show you how to calculate the impact mathematically. So by understanding the relationship, you will be able to assess the risk of owning real estate in a rate changing environment. It's no secret right now that real estate prices are at an all-time high. It's incredible. Now, people do blame it on a few different factors, either interest rates, inflation, supply and demand. So how can we separate the effects of interest rates from the other two factors? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the math and that in part two of this video. But right now we're going to concentrate on showing you how the interest rates affect the real estate prices. So let's start with the calculations that our buyers are buying what they can afford, aka their purchasing power. And let's assume that supply and demand and inflation factors are not playing a part of this at all. So our buyer wants to buy a $1 million home, wants to put down 20%, which is $200,000, has a 3% 30-year fixed mortgage, and that's going to leave them with a mortgage payment of around $3,373 per month. Now, you can calculate the mortgage payments using Google Sheets or Excel using this formula and putting the monthly interest rate, which is the annual rate, divided by 12, the term in months, so for 30 years, it would be 30 years times 12 months per year, which equals to 360, and the loan amount of $800,000. Now, let's put this into a table so we can see the sensitivity between different rates. So in this table, we have the down payment, the monthly payment, the interest rate, the loan amount, and the total purchasing power. Purchasing power is a down payment plus the loan amount. So let's assume that the down payment and the mortgage payment is what the buyer can afford and nothing more. So the only thing that's going to be changing is the interest rate. And with the interest rate of like 2.75, the buyer can get a larger loan equal to $826,000 with the same monthly payment. $26,000 more? You can calculate the loan amount by using the present value formula in Excel or Google Sheets. By inputting the monthly interest term and monthly payment, now, if we fill the table with lower and higher interest rates, this is what we get. At 2.5% at interest rate, purchasing power increased by roughly $53,000. That's huge! Or roughly a 5% increase from our $1 million baseline. Say what? And at the other extreme, a 4%, a much higher interest rate, the purchasing power decreases by almost 10% to $900,000 from our original $1 million baseline. Now, graphing the interest rates and the total purchasing power, we can see that the purchasing power increases when rates drop and decreases when rates increase. Plotting the purchasing power percentage change over interest rates, we, we can see starting with 3% interest rate, we are at 0% or our baseline purchasing power. When 
interest rate decrease, we have a gain in purchasing power. And when interest rates increase, we have a loss. And at an extreme scenario at 10% interest rate, purchasing power dropped by over 40%. Oh, hell no! So now, hopefully you can see through all these numbers that just the smallest amount of change in interest rate, how bad it can affect your affordability, your purchasing power, and your decision to make your home purchase. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk about the pros and cons of rising interest rates really, really quick before we move on to the big secret. Pro number one. There's going to be more home sales from a home seller's perspective. Number two, rising rates tend to indicate a strong economy. And number three, buying opportunity. Cons, number one, the affordability. Come on, let's face it. You just saw this video. You see what rising interest rates can do to your monthly mortgage payment. That's a con. All right, so let's go back to the computer here and let's show you this quick little trick that's going to make your life so much easier when you're looking for your home. So just go to Google and type in mortgage calculator. Okay, so let's go back to our original example where we're going to do the home value at a million dollars down payment of 20%, $200,000. That gives us a loan amount of $800,000. Now we can switch this interest rate around. And for this example, we're gonna go ahead and take out property taxes. PMI is not necessary since you're putting down the 20% and we're going to go ahead and take out the home insurance just to give you the basic bare cost. Let me calculate. Remember that amount? $3,372.83. So roughly $3,373. Now if we change out the interest rates. At 3.5, you will be paying $3,593. So you can see how easy and how much time and effort that will save you if you just go to Google, type in mortgage calculator. As a matter of fact, a lot of those mortgage calculators already come preset with PMI, your taxes, the property insurance. So you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is plug in your numbers to get a really good ballpark figure as to what your monthly payments will be. But remember, you always want to check with your mortgage lender to find out what your exact payments are going to be. Well, my name is Steve Arthur and I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach area and all of the surrounding cities. So if you or anybody that you may know is thinking about moving to Long Beach or thinking about moving out of the area, all you got to do is give me a call, shoot me a text, send an email. Heck, release the carrier pigeons, send the smoke signals. All you got to do is get hold of me so I can have your back for your next move. Take care. That's all, folks.